my next guest is an extremely beautiful woman and a fantastic actress. Her new film, Aftershock. <laughs> it's like 3D. That'll be like when The Great Gatsby comes out in 3D, they'll be like, anyone want a drink? <laughs> anyway, Aftershock is in theatres on Friday. Take a look at this. Yeah, nobody in LA wants to see that movie. <laughs> Wonderful, very elegant and beautiful and, dare I say, Hungarian? Yes, that's You are right. Hungarian, yeah, right? Yeah, Hungary is, you know, the land of talent and beautiful women. Yes! You know? <laughs> wait, wait, we Everybody can't be sure. Hungry. No, I, I've, I've been to Hungary, I know, I've been to Budapest. Oh, wow. Buda and Pest, two separate towns. Oh, did you... No, go, they are. Did you go for the beautiful women? Uh, I took one with me. Oh. Uh, <laughs> So you I went on the way there or on the way back? Uh, on the way there and on the way back. <laughs> it was a giant the success. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the same one that I brought too, wow. which is like <laughs> that's good. Um, are you from Budapest? I am from Budapest. Oh, it's a lovely town. You know why in Budapest I had the best coffee I've ever had in my life? Did you? Yeah. That's weird. Is it? You know? <laughs> in Italy for 10 years, so... I, oh, right, well, no, I never thought about that. Yeah, Italy, the coffee's a little better, yeah. yeah. Well, so. well it's, I mean, it gets to a point where it's kind of chicken or fish. I mean, you don't really... You can't tell. Okay, what did you like about Hungary? Well, I like the goulash, mm -hmm. and I like the vague threat of Dracula. <laughs> That's part of Hungary, isn't it? Well, yes, that's Transylvania that used to belong to Hungary, and now it's like Romania. Oh, well, that's, and, sorry about that. Yeah, but, but actually a, a Hungarian actor made it famous. Yeah, Bela Lugosi. Bela he was, Lugosi. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Oh, no, that wasn't Bela Lugosi. <laughs> Bela Lugosi was that. Yeah. I want to suck your butt. Mm -hmm. I actually, that was not, I just meant that right there when I said that. <laughs> have, you, uh, have you ever played a vampire? No, not yet. That's uh, that'll be it. That's that's going to happen. Now you're in the big aftershock movie. The next thing will be, you know, twinkly vampire movie. Yeah, it could be. It's all right. You know, a lot of money in it. Yeah, I have to grow my teeth then. No, you don't. That they have special things. You know, just, you don't have to actually grow vampire teeth. No, no. <laughs> I thought so. No. Did you know in? Well, in Hungary, uh, that's where vampires are from, though, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. Did you ever, ever see? Uh, no, you didn't. I, I thought the place. Really I thought Budapest was very. Uh, it had a very uh, strange atmosphere about it, though. It was quite malevolent. Although I arrived in a thunderstorm, so maybe oh. that's where we were. Oh, it was great. Okay. It was really lovely. I liked it. And that river that was right down the oh, middle. Oh, Budapest is the most beautiful city in the world. I mean, I'm Hungarian, of course, but. Yeah. I'm telling you, if you yeah, Google, that's lovely. it's gorgeous. Whereabouts in Italy did you live, though? In Rome. Oh, that's nice. Did you have a little scooter? No, I didn't, because as an actress, you know, I, I, can, I can never take risks, with, really, so I just walk. No, darling, as an actress, you must always take risks. <laughs> <laughs> must always. I will play the I... hooker with a heart of gold. I'll try it. Well, different kind of risks, yeah. yeah. Your English is very good, though. Did you learn as a child? No, I actually learned after university. Really? Uh, yeah, because I, I grew up, I had to learn German, then I had to learn Italian, and then I realized I don't speak English, and English is the word language, so I bought audio tapes and, and CDs that yeah. I used to listen to, so that's how I started. And then I came here like three years ago and had a bunch of accent lessons. Oh, wow, it's very good. You sound, uh, you know, more American it's than me, really, work. to be honest. <laughs> are, you, are you an American citizen now? No, no, not at all. Yeah. I just got my working visa. Oh, great! Congratulations! Yeah. Yeah. It's a big thing for me. It is a big thing. It, it is a big I remember when I got mine, I used to have to go down to Tijuana every six months to get my passport. I know, I, I know. It's, That's it's true. It's me, and, and I have to prove more than whatever American actress has to prove. Because, yeah. you know, I have to prove that I have value that can be, you know, added to work here. Right, to get the work visa, you have to, it's an O-1 visa, yeah. right? So it's a, an artist of special merit and distinction. Called, I was like, it's no! 
It's called an alien with extraordinary ability. Yeah, that's what that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. And you clearly I have uh, to prove me, I'm uh, extraordinary. <laughs> that's why I became a citizen. I thought I'll you, just be full. You are extraordinary. Yeah. That's right. No, I I think I was extraordinary enough to sneak my way in, and then that was it. <laughs> So you live in LA now then or New York? I'm on and off. I live a little bit everywhere, but now um, I spend a lot of time again in Budapest because I've been away for 10 years. Right. And um, yeah, in November I just decided to spend some time back home because I missed family too much. Yeah, I no. I just deserve to, to be home a little bit. Yeah, no, I get it. I also, I think it's very, very nice there. Did you... Uh, do you ever had the goulash they've got there? They've got goulash and... Uh... Yeah, but that's kind of a cliché. I mean... What? What do you mean it's a cliché? I mean, that's not the only thing. That's not the most typical thing. Well, what is the most typical thing, then? Um, I think women. <laughs> or... I, I unfortunately wasn't allowed to have one of them while I was there. So you could only have goulash. Yeah, yeah. Goulash was fine, though. Very tasty. <laughs> You know the Rubik cube? The Rubik, Erno Rubik. He was Hungarian. Yes, Hungarian. yeah. 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 Can you do that? He's famous. Mm, well, when I was little, I cheated a little bit because I, I, I have, I always have to take challenges, but I always have to win them too. So I, I was so angry with myself that I couldn't do it. So I got off the little stickers and, and put them back on and showed my mom. Like I was four years old and went, to my mom, look, I did it. And she was she like, said, Oh, I have an actress. <laughs> It's a tight Well, we're out of time. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's rough. So, how do you do it with Hungarian women then? Like, well, I, like I say, I don't know how. Oh, you mean how do you, you end it with Hungarian women? Yeah. Well, I, um, <clears throat> um, well, it's a bit like Scottish women, except they understand me less. <laughs> Who? Are they Scottish? No, no, Hungarian women. I don't speak Hungarian. Do you speak Hungarian? Again. I'm like if I want to say, well, that's it, good night, uh, or join us after the break, how would I say that in Hungarian? Ennyi volt már a jó éjszakát, gyertek vissza reklám után.